Hello there, I am Giant Quill with more Earthbound. In the last part, we just got finished, we just about got finished with Belch's factory. Here's Mr. Big Belch, whatever you want to call his name. I think it's like Big Belch or something, I could be wrong. Let's just talk to him. Burp? No, I gotta add a little sound effect too. He is a boss, by the way. Uh, so you are Ness. I see. Quick, quick, quick. Um. There's a prophecy, there's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master Gygas. Heg heg heg, you must, you make me laugh so hard. If Master Gygas is scared of someone, he would have to be worse than their greatest evil. Ga, garg, ga, garg, ga, ga, ga. I'll take you down big time, so get ready for the worst fight of your life. Ga, ga, ga. Get ready to feel the pain of true nausea. Gee gee, come on, let's go. Okay, so in the game's programming, you can't win this fight unless you use the um, the fly honey, which I'm gonna use right now, I guess. Oh yeah, dry fly honey right here. Okay, cool. Um, Paul is gonna use PSI freeze alpha, and Jeff will shoot him right in the face. No, I'm just kidding. Shoot him at least. That's good. So yeah, there we go. The dry fly honey, yeah. Okay, yeah. So for the full fight, he's gonna try to be like defending against bugs or something. I don't know. It's kind of weird. My dog is barking in the background, so if you can hear that. Okay, PSI rock and alpha. Let's go. PSI freeze alpha again, and then shoot. <laughs> Jeff can shoot. There we go. Sick damage now. Cause like, yeah, you may. I think you made not nest feel nauseated or something like that. Okay, so let's use PSI Rockin' Alpha again. This overall is an easy fight, so you shouldn't have much trouble with it at all, really. You just need to use your f the f Jar of Fly Honey at the beginning of the battle or whenever you can. Because, again, it's in the game's programming that you can't, you can't, you can't win unless you do that. So, that's why we did it. Okay, let's use... Let's use, uh, uh we can go on with PSI Rockin'. I mean, we're gonna heal later, which is good. So, yeah. Here we go, nice, nice, nice. This should be the last turn, if I were to guess. There we go, he's a defeated, I was right, cool. We won, yay! Ness and friends gains 4,170 experience each. Ness is now level 30. Offense went up by 2, Guts went up by 1, Vitality went up by 1, sweet. Maximum HP went up by 27, wow. Maximum PP went up by 1. Jeff's now level 26. Maximum HP went up by 2. Cool. Everyone leveled up except for Paul, but that's okay. Looks like it wasn't even... F looks like it wasn't an even fight. Burp. But Master Guy, I guess, has managed to get the money, money statue into Foresight. The city will soon be in worse condition than your, than living in your own puke. S suffer, Spanky. Ga, 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 ga. Burp. <laughs> I'm not gonna make any belching noises because I don't like them. Focusing on command. Okay, so yeah, Ness needs. Okay, let's use PSI healing beta. I think you can, oh, if you use PSI healing beta, that's the only way you can heal like, if someone feels nauseated. So yeah, Ness feel much better. Ness felt much better. Cool. So there's that. Let's go into this little area. He's a Mr. Saturn guy. Um, I escaped. Zoom. Burp. <laughs> Doing. G goody burp okay we're walking we're walking we're walking hey looking at mr. Sun. you worn down ah doing burp barf stinky pu <laughs> I like their dialogue sometimes or like most of the times at least oh, look a magic butterfly just came flying up to us the magic butterfly made Ness and his friends relax so, um, I'm gonna go in this hot spring and actually heal up your party members and you and Ness, including, including Ness. That's pretty cool. I just have to, I'm gonna just have to stand here for a little bit. There we go. When that is kind of like, like, when the screen kind of lights up like that, you know that you're doing it right. You got in and washed all the extremely dirty gunk off your body. Okay, cool. So now, as you can see, everyone's fully healed, so that's nice. Yeah. It should be fully healed, yeah. Go talk to this Mr. Saturn, because he's really important. 
uh, drink coffee before you go. Say yes to me. Say no to me. I'll say yes to you. It's actually really cool what happens next. Bottoms up doing... Whoa, look at this cool place. Nice. You've traveled far, very far from home. I Ness has, actually. We're in the 30th part now, so... Yeah, well, 31st or 30th part, I can't even remember. Do you remember how long and winding journey... Do you remember how your long and windy journey began with someone pounding at your door? It was Pokey, the worst person in the neighborhood, who knocked on your door that fateful night. On your way, you have walked, thought, and fought. Yet though, yet through all this, you have never lost your courage. You have grown steadily stronger, th though you have experienced the pain of battle many times. You have no longer... A you're no longer alone in your adventure. Paula, who is steadfast, kind, and even pretty, is always at your side. Jeff is with you as well. Though he is timid, he came from a distant land to help you. Ness, as you certainly know by now, you are not a regular young man. You have an awesome destiny. You have an awesome destiny to fill. The journey from po this point will be long and it will be more difficult than anything you have undergone to this point. Yet I know you will fight. You'll, you will be alright. When good battles evil, which side do you believe wins? Do you have faith that good is triumphant? One thing you must never lose is courage. If you believe in the goal you are striving for, you will be courageous. There are many difficult times ahead, but you must keep your sense of humor, work through the tough situations, and enjoy yourself. When you have finished this cup of coffee, your adventure will begin again. Next, you must pass through the vast desert and proceed to the big city of Foreside, which, if, if you remember in Jeff's machine that he used to fly all the way to, from where he was to Thread to save Ness and Paula, um, we passed over it, like in this, we kind of flew over it. So yeah, Ness, Paula, Jeff, and I think there was a, um, it was rewritten for the, um, English for American version that like in the American version says wish you, I wish you luck but then I think in the Japanese version they say like may the goddess uh, shine upon you or something like that so they made a little translation from the Japanese version to the American version I guess North American version of this game compared like from Mother 2 to Earthbound Trans the transition basically so that's pretty cool. Um, I already healed up in that little spa thing. Let's read the sign there real quick. Um, hot springs. Okay, it's a spring, my bad. Rest here. Hot springs, rest here. Cool. So let's go down this ladder here. Because we want to do that. We want to go down ladders. It's healthy for us. I'm just kidding. Well, it's helpful because that's what we do to the person game. Because I want to go over here to this area. And then what you want to do next is talk to this Mr. Sun right here. So let's do that. Here is a present. A hand to you. A cup of wife noodles. I, I hand to you, Mr. Sadnacorn. I know, I, I know, hand you my sting beetle. Oh, tease you. I have no some, I have no something. Okay. So, um, equip, I want to equip the Mr. Sadnacorn to Paula because her, um, wait, she doesn't have a thing on her body? Oh, man. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hold on, let's me see. I don't have a thing on Paula's body. I thought we had like a, like a travel charm or something, but I must have sold it. Hmm. That's a bummer. Oh, well, we're going to have to deal with that later then. Okay, so what I want to do is equip... Instead of the silver bracelet, I want to give... Okay, is it other? Yeah, it's other. Okay, instead of the, instead of the red ribbon, 
that her mixer defense 49 right now. I'm going to give her the mystery sign coin so that moves it up from 49 to 71. So that's really good. She really needs a defense, you know, so that's good for her to have it. So it makes a really good item for Paul, in my opinion. And other than that, I'm going to go back to one of the uh, Mr. Siren Village's houses where um, we can save and stuff. I don't need a heal because, again, I would heal at the spring. So that's good. Let's go in here. Yeah, okay. So yeah, this has been the, my uh, Earthbound Let's Play part. And next part, we'll take on probably the road to Forsyth, hopefully. So yeah, this has been Jonko again. I would like to thank for checking again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.